Hello, coders. Welcome back to check the progress of my passion project. The objective of this upgrade is making a beaten up version of Comeback system to integrate with my previously built Parkour system, which also has been upgraded during the process. From my previous video, I mentioned that the Parkour game object that a character can interact with is limited by its size. Well, things like this will easily cause a significant drop on our game world diversity, which we don't want. When well, now things get changed, we can easily get the information like size and obstacle direction from a single ray cast, and then use linear interpolation to manipulate the root position to fit the animation pose, which is the key to make the parkour system more dynamic. So the upgrade we already have here allow us to make interaction with obstacles that can be various in height, length, and direction. Check this out. Of course, there are some circumstances that we don't want to make a jump. For example, this cube is way too long for us to jump already from the top. Although we can jump already from the side, but we can't jump already when we are facing it in this direction. Luckily, we can borrow some features from Assassin's Creed to give our capture more option, which we can climb up on it. It takes the same idea as other parkour action to make it work, except we are not simply just doing lerp on horizontal axis, but also vertical axis. The next thing I would like to show you is the combat system that is inspired by The Witcher 3, which I spent more than 150 hours to play. So when we get close to the enemy, our character will enter the combat mode, where the camera will zoom out and provide more strategic will so our character can notice the attacker behind him. We can escape the combat simply by pressing the spring button and run away. Like in Witcher 3, our character will always look at our target during the combat, when we are giving instructions to our character to move to a different direction, instead of rotating our body direction, our character will start strafing around our target. The target is selected by directional input. The health bar above their head indicates the one that we are going to attack when we click our mouse button. The attack action is dependent on where our target is, precisely in angular position, and his distance from us. We can also focus on our attack on our target by pressing F, so the directional input will no longer change our target, but to control the attacking action. There are several ways our character can fight against his enemy. We can click left mouse button for starting a combo, which also can be intercepted by clicking right mouse button to perform a heavy attack. If we attack enemy from his behind, we will have a chance to knock him down. We can also do sliding attack, which will cause tiny damage to the enemy, but also will help us to reposition ourselves during the battle. We can also do flying kick, just like Bruce Lee did. It will create a great amount of damage, but also will probably make your flank wide open. Except doing combos, other attacks will require a certain amount of stamina. This is just simply for keeping balance in the game. Dodging is the only way for now that our character can use to defend themselves. In Witcher 3, Geralt is doing some kind of jump back to dodge the enemy's attack. He can also step him forward towards the enemy. I did the same on handling the dodge direction, but unfortunately, I don't have a appropriate animation for stepping forward. What I did here is using a pillar avoiding parkour action uh, that I used in my previous project to replace it which works pretty fine. 
It can be triggered when the character faces his target and tries to dodge to his back. So I guess the video has to stop here. Um, in the next video, I'm going to explain the enemy's behavior in this combat system, like how to evenly distribute them instead of getting them to crowd, and the hit response for all the characters. Um, I hope you enjoyed the content of this video, and thanks for watching.